Hallelujah and blessings in Jesus, friends. Welcome back to Hayekadosh Ministries, where holiness is a way of life. Jesus is truly King of kings and Lord of lords, and the Holy Bible is our only standard for truth. And together, God's people say, Hallelujah. Well, good morning, friends. How are you? I trust that you are feeling blessed in the spirit and that you are thirsty for the things of God. Today is September the 17th in the year of our Lord, 2017, and this is one a day for the soul. Now, our text this morning is going to be taken out of Psalm chapter 55, and let me begin by saying this is one of those topics that most people don't like to discuss. Kind of like the topic of death. Few people like discussing something with such negative consequences. Now, as the believer, of course, death is a promotion for us. It's what we're looking forward to. But it is with this same idea that I want to approach this subject matter this morning, because this is something that we don't like to be reminded of, but it is inevitably going to take place in our lives at some time. Let me illustrate this with an experience I had about 20 years ago. Now, I'm almost 52, and so I would have been around 30 about that time. Now, I went to a Christian meeting, and I had arrived about probably about 15, 20 minutes early. And in front of me was a woman with her son. Now, her son was probably no more than 18 or 19 years old, and he was on his way to Bible college. Now, me, already having come out of Bible college, being at the age of 32 years old and experienced many things in life at this point, I, I had to share with this young man that as full of his dreams that he was, and with all of this fire and anticipation, he was ready to enter into the world, he needed to be reminded of the truth. And the truth is, the only way that he was going to become a real man of God was he was going to have to be broken. And it was life's experiences that was going to break him. And so as much as he thought life was going to offer him all the pleasantries that it had to offer, the truth of the matter was this young man was going to experience a lot of pain, misery, suffering, and hardship before he became the man that God wanted him to become. And so it is with the idea of our text this morning. You see, David is writing here, and he says in verse 12, it was not an enemy that reproached me. Well, then I could have borne it. Neither was it he that hateth me, that did magnify himself against me. Then I would have hid myself from him. But it was thou, a man mine equal, my guide and mine acquaintance. We took sweet counsel together and we walked unto the house of God in company. Now what David is saying here is, look, if it had been a stranger, even if it had been an enemy, I could have taken the blow of betrayal, but it wasn't an enemy. It wasn't a stranger, but it was one who had become very close to me who betrayed me. And it was because of that, that the blow was so fatal. It left such a scar on my soul. And so it is with us, friends. The closer we get to someone, when they let us down, and they will, because you have to remember they are human. When they let us down, the scar that is left from that disappointment is much more severe than it had been at the hands of a stranger or at the hands of an enemy. And yet we do not need to approach a relationship that is being established between us and another with such apprehension. We just need to guard our souls in realizing the fact that there is a very strong possibility that this might end in disappointment. Now, there may be those in your past that fall into this category. You may already be thinking of them. First of all, you must forgive them. Second of all, you must love them the same way that Jesus loves you when you let him down. 
which I'm sure you have many times. And finally, we must press through the difficulty in that relationship, knowing that if we put these things behind us, what lies on the other side might be so much more rich and rewarding than we can even imagine. Take, for instance, Jesus, and I believe that this is a prophetical statement about Jesus and his relationship with Judas. But take the relationship that Jesus had with Judas, take the relationship that Jesus had with Peter. Both of them let Jesus down, but Peter was able to press through and enjoy a beautiful relationship with the Lord Jesus that probably he would have never known unless he had experienced this failure in his life. And so it is with us in our relationships with others. We can't allow the mistake to stop a relationship. We have to press through to what lies beyond because if we can get past the hurt and the pain, the joy is of much greater reward, friends. And that's why human relationships, I don't care if it's friends, if it's family, or if it's a husband or a wife or a child, that's why human relationships are so difficult because we can't get through the pain and the hurt. But if we can, if we can weather the storm, there is a silver lining to that dark cloud. Well, I love you, friends. I'm so grateful that you're here again this morning. I pray that the word of God has spoken to you and met you in your need. And if there's anything in your heart, in your soul that needs to be addressed between you and your relationship with God, I pray that you will not let another moment slip by until you take it before him. And whatever it is, you'll find what your soul is searching for. Now, as he wills, and until next time, friends, I love you, and I'll see you on the next video.